Today, we're comparing the webcam, microphones, and speakers on both M1 MacBooks and both Intel MacBooks of 2020, and we're gonna see which one is best. Hello everyone, my name's Mike, and here at Tech Car Moon, we uncover tech at home and in video. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more, and don't worry, I have loads of tests coming on the M1 MacBooks, so make sure to hit that like button. So let's run down the specs of the Macs I have and just get into the tests. I have got the base M1 MacBook Air and the base M1 MacBook Pro, and we're putting it against the 2020 in Intel i5 MacBook Air and the four port 2020 i5 MacBook Pro. Now all the MacBooks I have here have got the 720p webcam, so we saw no update with the resolution. However, the M1 MacBooks apparently have got better image processing, meaning better noise reduction, better dynamic range, improved auto white balance, and machine learning enhanced face detection. So without wasting another second, let's see how they all perform, and then let's get into the speakers of these things. This one here is the MacBook Air Intel i5 2020 model. So this has the three microphone array system as well as the 720p camera. Now, because this is the older system, it doesn't have the new image signaling uh, processes as well as the studio microphones. So this is how it sounds and this is how it looks. Uh, I wouldn't say this is very good quality. Now, I'm just in, obviously, the studio. I've got a single light. It's not well lit or anything like that. It's just to kind of simulate a normal bedroom almost. Um, and yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm sort of arms reach from sort of the webcam. So this is what the webcam and microphone quality sounds like on the MacBook Air Intel. And now we have the new M1 MacBook Air and it's exactly the same lighting. I've literally just dropped the other one down and picked this one up. And this is the MacBook Air M1 base model and this has the same technically 720p camera, but it's got the new image processing. So see how it handles uh, sort of my, my face, the shadows, as well as the overall sort of contrast of the image. And and like I said, this is the same 720p camera, it's just been processed slightly different. We've also technically got the same microphone array, but maybe they've done a little bit more with the microphones, maybe it sounds a little bit better, but to my eye, the image looks a little bit better on the new M1 than it does on the old Intel uh, MacBook Air. Next up, we've got the MacBook Pro, this is the four port Intel version and this one here has got the 720p camera as well as the three microphone array. Now this one here hasn't got the studio three microphone array like the M1 MacBook Pro. So that'll be very interesting to see because these microphones are meant to be a little bit better than the MacBook Air Intel version, um, but maybe not as good as the M1. We'll have to wait and see for that. But this is what the image looks like. Again, the same 720p camera, three microphone array, and just again, have a look at the contrast, the overall quality of the image coming out of this 720p camera, as well as obviously the audio quality, just to see how it all compares to the previous models. And finally, we have the M1 MacBook Pro. So this is the base model, and this has the studio three microphone array system. So this should sound a lot better than all three of the previous models. And we've also got the 720p camera, same as all three other models, but with the new image processing. So again, have a look at the overall image quality, obviously comparing it to the last three models I just spoke uh, about. And yeah, you let me know down in the comments below which one sounded the best and which one looked the best. But Technically, according to Apple, this should be the best looking and the best sounding out of all three MacBooks. And again, I've got the exact same lighting, exact same conditions, uh, pretty much the same framing. I couldn't see any difference in terms of uh, the field of view or anything like that. So to me, it looks like the exact same webcam, but they've just updated the microphones in the base MacBook Pro and obviously the image processing as well. So let me know. In my opinion, the M1 MacBook Pro had the best visual and audio quality in my tests. So if you're gonna be calling a lot and want the best quality video calls, then the M1 MacBook Pro will probably be your best choice. Now let's talk about the speakers. So both MacBook Air models have got the wide stereo sound speakers with Dolby Atmos playback support, but the MacBook Pros have the wide dynamic speakers, meaning they should sound better, but let's find out.
So to my ear, the four port Intel MacBook Pro had the best sound out of the lot. And I would say that the M1 MacBook Pro was a close second and the M1 and Intel MacBook Airs sounded almost identical. I hope you found these tests helpful. And in my opinion, if you're looking for the most well-rounded features with all the 13 inch MacBooks when it comes to sort of video and audio quality, then the M1 MacBook Pro would probably be my choice. But there we have it. As always, this is a discussion. So please leave a comment down below on what you thought on these MacBooks and also check out the links in the description to support the channel. If you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at TechCarmoon. Drop me a like on this video if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And if you want to see more from me right now, you know what to do. Click on one of these two videos. They're both fantastic if I do say so myself. Anyway, everyone, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.